the documentary is great, but I'm every day I'm still trying to work it out with my kids. You know, I got eight kids. It bothers me that I wasn't in some of their lives when I played in the league. So I go to therapy, you know, once a week now just to deliver productive, you know, life. You know, and, and that's why one of the reasons I'm happy about the doc, because I wanted to show all the sides of a person. It's human file. You know, it's just human made me look human because NBA put you on a pedestal, you know, NCAA college, high school. I've been a prodigy my whole life. But I wanted to let everybody know, yo, I was doing all this on the court and all that, but I, I, I came home to this. This is how I dealt with real life issues. So I wanted to be a, a great message. Was he receptive, Jill, to some of this? And what were some of the issues you had with saying maybe Kenny doesn't want to do this? I mean, he was receptive. I mean, the, you know, what's interesting with Kenny is, from you know, you can't judge a book by, a, by its cover. There's so much going on with all of us on the inside. You look at Kenny, you look at his life. It could look storybook in certain ways, 14 years in the NBA, making millions. But then when you meet him and he's like, I'm in therapy, I was sexually abused, I had this really rough upbringing. For me, it was really intriguing to be like, okay, I wanna know this person, I wanna know what made him tick, what made him get to the greatness, but also what made, you know, what made him fail in, in certain instances too. But to answer your question, he would not do a retake <laughs> which I love. Uh, no retake. So, you which get it I now, actually, we ain't doing it. Yeah, so it was like authentic. And I love that because we both kind of roll like that. We're both like impatient and like you had to get it. And if you, if you asked for a retake, he would give me, you know, he would give me the business. So <laughs> I learned quickly.